Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Arai Rapide helmet. If anyone has the credibility to bring out a retro helmet that harks back to the styling of the 1980s, then it's Arai. That's when they first started to really come to prominence here in Britain, back when Freddie Spencer wore them in Grand Prix and did loads and loads of winning. This Rapide helmet takes some of its visual cues from the lid Spencer wore when he won both the 250cc championship and 500cc championships in the same season, 1985. The slash cut vents in the Rapide's chin bar are very reminiscent of Spencer's lid, and so is the simplicity of the overall look. But this is a thoroughly modern helmet that shares a lot with Arai's most recent helmet releases. The shell is the PB ECLC Composite of Fibres, that stands for Peripherally Belted E-Complex Laminate Construction. The material is designed to balance toughness and light weight, and that peripherally belted bit of the title means there's a reinforcing band in the shell just above the eye port here. That shell material is the same as Arai have used on their newest helmet, the Quantic, so there's nothing retro about that material. When it comes to weight, this Rapide is a size medium and it weighs in on our scales at 1557 grams, which is not exactly a lightweight, but nor is it a lardy lump. Those slash cut vents at the front are the most obvious ways of getting air inside the helmet and they're also the only air inlets in the shell itself. There's an internal shutter switch on the inside of the chin bar, so you can slide that up or down to allow air in or to block it out. Some of the air that travels through there is channeled through the base of the helmet and is then able to escape through vents at the rear of the shell and then also on the neck roll just here. The other vents are on the visor. These are an Arai speciality and they allow air to enter just here and then travel through these ducts here towards your temples. These are the most effective vents on the helmet in my opinion and they make quite a big difference. Overall ventilation isn't on a par with helmets that have vents on top of the shell but it's pretty damn good considering there are only air intakes on the chin and on the visor. As for the rest of the visor, it's the same vast V type visor that's been used on all new Arai full face helmets since 2015, including the top of the range RX 7V race helmet. It's protected by a Pinlock 120 anti-mist insert, so it's the best protection against fog, and it covers the vast majority of the visible space inside the eye port as well. The Rapide also runs Arai's latest visor latch just here. Giving the visor an extra push when lowering it, like that, we'll lock it in the down position with this tab locking into the hole on the bottom of the visor just there. Push this lever on the latch and then the visor is released from that tab and you can either leave it there to let in a small amount of air or you can just pull it away from the helmet and lift it. The visor itself is the same as the visor used on quite a few modern air eyes but the mounting is different. There are no side pods with the Rapide, instead you have to unscrew the retaining plates and a coin will do that job with these screws just here and then the visor unclips on those mountings once you've removed them from the helmet. It's a simple enough process, but it is a bit fiddly. I changed the visor a few times while reviewing this helmet, and then I timed myself for the last change. It took five minutes and two seconds. Now, that's not exactly the end of the world, a five minute change, and I think some practice would probably speed up that time, but I wouldn't want to be swapping visors too frequently, and I definitely wouldn't want to be doing it by the side of the road unless I really had to. Now, if this helmet had an internal sun visor, that would only be a tiny issue. But Arai believe that fitting sun visors on the inside of their helmets makes them less safe, so they just won't do it. They do make a replacement visor with an external sun visor, which slides over the outer surface to give you a choice between tinted and clear visors. And one of those would make visor swaps much less frequent. But those pro shade visors are 100 quid, so that's worth bearing in mind before you splash out at least 450 pounds on a Rapide. That's the current price for a plain one and graphics like this dream design of £530 as we record this. Moving to the inside, the interior for this helmet is quite sporty actually. The fabric covering the comfort padding is quite quick drying, so again this isn't a retro liner. Some our eyes use a very soft fabric here that takes quite a while to dry, but this one is antimicrobial and it also dries really quickly. I wore this helmet in the hottest part of our summer and it was really good at drying out after one of those sticky sweaty rides. The lining is also fully removable and there are pockets within the cheek pads where you can fit speakers for an intercom. I fitted a Cardo Pactalk Bold system to this helmet and it fitted really neatly and was dead easy to use within this helmet. The, finally, with the lining, the strap fastener is a D-ring which is exactly as everyone would expect to find on an Arai because all of their helmets have a D-ring fastener. So this helmet's been around since 2020 and as we record this we've had 15 customers who've left the review for it. Only one of those reviewers left less than a maximum five stars, and that was a four star review, which he gave because he felt the visor latch was a bit fiddly, this bit here. It's hard for me to disagree with him. It does take a while for that to become second nature. 
I've used that visor latch on several different Arai helmets now and after a while you do get used to it but as I said it does feel fiddly at first. The other issue I'd raise after my time with the Arai Rapide is the time it takes to change a visor. Uh, that's not an issue if you only ever ride with either a clear or a tinted visor or if you're okay with splashing another hundred quid or so on a pro shade visor. Something else I noticed in my time with this particular helmet was the popularity of this paint scheme. It's the blue and beige dream design for 2021 and it drew a lot of comments from loads of people. Even John Reynolds, the former British Superbike champion, mentioned this helmet when I was wandering around the Suzuki stand at the British Grand Prix where he was there on duty to meet and greet customers and Suzuki riders. Anyway, let's get back to the helmet itself. Let's cover sizing and approvals. The Rapide comes in sizes XS to XL and there are three shell sizes. The smaller shell covers helmet sizes extra small and small. The middle shell size covers medium and large. And then the largest of all the shell sizes covers the helmet size XL. It's approved to ECE 2205 for the road and it's also ACU Gold approved so you can wear it for track days and for racing if you like. I hope that tells you everything you were hoping to find out about the Arai Rapide helmet. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.